Welcome back to my lair. <laughs> Just kidding. Today we're doing some Christmas nail art. So this first set we're doing is gonna be the other hand of what is on this hand. So it's gonna ultimately look like this. I've been playing around with this and I actually think that this design would look better without the hollow glitter behind it. So that's what I'm gonna do for the other hand. I'm using an ASP navy blue for this. I'm gonna put coat number two on. As you can see, one is not sufficient. Next, I'm gonna get on a coat of this Jalaz, and this is the Tiny Hollow. Ooh. Okay, so I've done all of them except for the ring finger. Okay, hull is on. Now we have to decorate the ring finger. So this is just the solid blue right now. And then I'm gonna use a very fine tip brush and go into the pot of gold. And then we're gonna do kind of like a whimsical, zigzaggy, swishy tree. I don't know how else to describe that. Yeah, that's showing up way better without the glitter behind it. And here's our little tree. And before I cure that, I'm gonna go into Britannia Silver and I'm gonna use that as the little tree topper. Right there. That looks so nice. Yeah, the glitter in the background just kind of totally takes away from it, but this is the exact same design. And this is the set totally done and top coated. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Oh my god. Okay, let me know down in the comments if you prefer it with or without the glitter behind it, but I think it looks way better without the hollow glitter. I even think like the other nails also would have looked just as good in, if instead of the hollow glitter I used just the Britannia silver over top of the navy. But I've already kind of done like a navy blue and silver set in the last like two months so I didn't want to be overly repetitive but that tree looks gorgeous just on top of the solid blue. Now we're gonna do a really crazy Christmas set. So I've already got one coat of the Jalaz sparkle Christmassy red on there so I'm just gonna do coat number two and this is what all the thumb sizes are gonna look like choo choo choosy Aladdin so for these guys I'm gonna kind of recreate a little bit of the design that I did on my holiday nails that I posted in November. So it's got the same red base. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three little circles with the black. Now I'm gonna put some color in these. First one I'm gonna do is the Britannia Silver. Next is going to be a gold tinted pearly white. And then the last one is going to be a pearly green color. And then I'm going to use the black to make these into actual little ornaments. So for the next size, I've already done the base with a green polish. This one is 
uh, just a Revlon shade in Posh. So this has completely set and dry. I'm gonna go in with an ASP in the shade Brown Sugar. I'm gonna put a blob here. And then I'm just gonna maneuver it. Now I'm gonna go into my black and get some antlers on here. And now I'm gonna use some of this nude color. I'm just gonna kind of trace the black, but on the inside a little bit. I want the black to be like a little shadow. And then I'm gonna do a big bloop of that sparkly red in the middle of the face. Give them two little black eyes. This is what the completed one looks like. The base for this next size is another normal polish. This is China Glaze and it's black and it's got these sort of multicolored glitters in it. Which the intention was to look like kind of a night sky-esque thing. I'm gonna go into universal white and then on the bottom of the nail I'm just gonna kind of place this like snow And then I'm going to be going back into this Revlon green. So this is another design that's going to have to completely dry before I can top coat it. And then I'm going to be doing a swishy tree design like on the first set of nails. So that's with two coats. And then I'm going to go into Pot of Gold again. And I'm just going to make the top of this just a little star shape. And then I'm going to cure this for two minutes so that the white and the gold are totally cured. And then this is going to sit for several hours while the green dries. And then this is what it looks like completely dry and top coated. On to the next two sizes. I've already done a bit of detail work off of camera because it's going to be way too hard to try to do that on this angle. I've got Noel written in gold and the base color is that pearly goldy white one. I don't even know the brand. It's lost all of its labels at this point. I need to add the little um, Accenté Monsieur is up there. So for that, I'm going to do almost like a little, make it look like holly almost. Like little leaves. And then to kind of keep with the holly berry thing, I'm going to go into the red with the same detail brush. But I'm going to use even less. And then do the little tiny berries. And to tie these together with the rest of the set, 
I'm gonna put a little stripe of the red down both sides and I'm gonna do two coats of that to make sure it looks red enough. Top and bottom. And then this is what they will look like totally top coated. For the last two sizes, I used the same Revlon color for the base. So this is completely dry now. I'm not a big fan of doing fancy pinkies. Don't ask me why. It was Britannia Silver. Sorry, my brush is in my mouth. Britannia Silver. So I think that will look the best. Then I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to add just a little bit more bottom. Just like that. And there they are in all their glory. I know there's a lot of reflection on this one here, but... That is about as Christmassy as you get in one set of nails. Boom! If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. Hello, there we go, there's the thumbs up. If you didn't, then cool. If you have not subscribed and you would like to, go ahead and do that. And we will see you tomorrow.